All right, welcome to another video, guys. So, in this video, we are gonna touch on grow watt inverter, 5,000 watt, 6,000 watt inverters. And the reason being, for the last month, I've had about 10 to 12 persons reach out and say, hey, I'm interested in this particular grow watt inverter. No, absolutely nothing wrong with that. With that. About four to five of those persons have already purchased this inverter and there are some things I want to point out to, to you before you go ahead and purchase this particular inverter. Now, number one, you need to know the output voltage of the inverter. Is it going to output 120 volts only, 240 volts only, or is it a split phase inverter? For Jamaica, and a number of other Caribbean islands and also places in North America. You wanna, you wanna make sure that it's a split phase inverter. So it's able to output both 120 volts and also 240 volts. Reason, you have your refrigerator, your television, your microwave that are 120 volt appliances. Then you have appliances such as your air conditioning unit, your electric cooker or electric stove, your clothes dryer that needs 240 volts so you need a split phase inverter that can output both it can give you the 120 volt that your refrigerator and tv and such appliances will need and also the 240 volts that other appliances such as your wash your dryer or electric cooker will need all right so a split phase inverter 120 slash 240. Next, these are hybrid inverters. So you wanna make sure that it's compatible with the electrical grid in your location. For Jamaica, we use 50 Hertz or 50 cycle or electrical grid or power company here uses 50 cycles or 50 Hertz. In North America, it's 60. So the best thing to do, the most ideal thing to do is get an inverter that operates within a range. So 50 to 65 Hertz is ideal. If you can get one that says 50 slash 60, that's okay. But 50 to 60 Hertz, it's, it's, it's a range. And once it operates within that range, then it's ideal. Yeah, so the last thing to consider when purchasing these inverters is is it stackable? Is it expandable? No. For some persons, they, their intention, your intention may to start off with a small system and then expand over time. So you may start off with a 5,000 watt or 6,000 watt inverter. And as you improve on the appliances in your home, then you may want a larger solar system. So you start off with a 5,000 watt or a 6,000 watt inverter. And then down the line, you add another one in parallel to make it a 10,000 watt or a 12,000 watt system. So you wanna make sure that it says stackable or expandable. And you can get this information off a number of websites. Um, they, it should be in the description um, on Amazon when you, when you check or also Signature Solar. I know they clearly state that in their description with you know, their devices. So you wanna make sure that it's expandable. If it's not, if you have purchased already and it's not expandable, then when you get to the point where you wanna add another inverter in parallel to that to make it a larger system, you're gonna find out that that's not possible and you have to set up a completely separate system or take out that inverter and put a larger one or another one that's expandable. So those are the three things to consider. Is it a split phase, split phase inverter? Make sure that it's a split phase. Is it operating within a frequency range? 50 to 65 Hertz or 50 slash 60 Hertz. And is it expandable? So those are three things you wanna consider when purchasing this particular grow up inverter. I've touched on this because I've seen a number of person re persons reaching out and saying, hey, you know, I wanna buy this inverter. What do you think? So, you know, as we go out there, you know, researching and getting the knowledge for ourselves and, you know, you know, considering what kind of system we want to put in our homes, these are some things to consider. 
my next video will be on hybrid inverters and how they operate it should be linked up right here next so you can check that out but hopefully this video sheds some light on you know selecting devices selecting devices for solar setup hopefully it helps one thing one thing i forgot to mention if you have already purchased an inverter and it's only 240 watts or 240 volts output then what you're gonna need to do is add in uh an another device another device it's a transformer split please chance um, transformer that now will give you the ability to have your appliances your 110 and 220 volts appliances working it's a split phase transformer by grow what i'll also link that up in the description with many other stuff that you can check out but um adding a transformer also add another device that me you know include or bring losses and another point of failure so if you haven't yet bought this inverter go search for one that's split phase and one that is stackable if you have already purchased you can check out this uh, transformer that will give you the option of having a split phase setup so it's in the description check it out but hopefully this video helped you guys out if it did leave a like leave a comment if you have any questions and um yeah my next video will be on hybrid inverters and how they work so make sure you check that one out but as always thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching